After just signing with our new team, Lyon, and moving back to France, it's kind of funny because we're now leaving France. It's the international break, and once again, we've neglected to get called up to the national team. I decided to visit the USA and, you know, the beaches, um, everything over there on the West Coast. We headed to L.A., and it was really funny because when I got there, I was near the beach and I was at this basketball court and all of a sudden people showed up and started playing 3v3 footy out here on the beach. And some of these faces you guys might recognize right here. Of course, this is just a cutscene from the journey I'm, gonna I'm incorporating here in the My Player. But how cool would it be if you could do training sessions like this in the My Player career mode where you're playing and uh, different venues and whatnot. Say you are playing on um, the L galaxy or something maybe you get to do this training drill on the beaches of la just saw you know a cool cutscene i wanted to add in it's something i kind of wanted to briefly talk over because it's there's so much ea could do with the my player mode and i'm hoping um very very soon the mode is going to get a big upgrade to come fifa 20 that is my hope taking a look here guys we are in the europa league last episode i asked you guys which competition should we focus on more the europa league or league gun and you guys for the majority you guys said you wanted me to focus on the europa league we're getting into our first europa league game today the round of 32 and we have a very very tough opponent it's ac milan coming out of the Serie A, one of the better sides in the Serie A. so gonna be a big matchup hopefully you guys go on to enjoy today's episode if you guys do as always smash a big old thumbs up if we hit 1,000 likes. The next episode will be up as soon as possible. That's always the rule. You guys hit it very, very quickly in the last episode. So I'm hoping we can do the same again and get the next episode up. I think this is episode number 11. Yeah, next episode will be number 12. And hopefully it's going to be a big, big season here with Lyon. We're hoping to win trophies as we wrap up the first season of our career playing professional football. And today we have some exciting stuff. Not this game, but the next game. We're making our debut in our primary position, the central attacking midfield role. Finally, man, that's one of the reasons I wanted to move here to Lyon because I knew they would play me in my primary position. Not this game, but the next game. We're going to be getting into that. But without further ado, let's get into this one. Lyon against Milan. As we get into it, we're going to fast forward to the later stages of the first half. We're going to get a shot in the 43rd minute. The first one gets deflected, but the second shot goes in our first career goal for Lyon. We couldn't get a debut goal in the last episode, but we do get our debut goal in an international competition here in the Europa League and we gotta kiss the pitch to celebrate boys bam there it is what a freaking volley from the rebound makes it 1-0 in favor of Lyon here is another look I tried the finesse shot right here of course it gets blocked but then we scoop that thing up the rebound the volley what a freaking finish Williams getting his first goal of his career playing in France we're back here in our home country and the fans are absolutely loving it and so is my manager, more importantly. So hopefully um, that is going to be one of many goals we get here in our career with Lyon. And right before the end of the first half, we would actually make it 2-0. It's going to be Fakir who puts it in. Wow, what a start to this game in the Europa League. We got a very, very tough draw. Having to come up against Milan here in the round of 32 but we are um well we seem to be handling them pretty easily right here this goal is gonna go in the um the right hand side of the net right there a beautiful finish from fakir first time as well with his left foot great shot great goal two nil is now the score line and we're gonna go into the halftime break with that lead things are looking up right here but we do need to focus and we can't let milan get a few away goals here that would um well that would put us in a bad position going in to the next away leg when we're going to be playing in Italy. Let's not worry about that for now, though. A 2-0 lead here against Milan. Beautiful stuff right there. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into the second half of action here in the 57th minute. Milan with the shot. It hits off the crossbar and the rebound goes in. This is the last thing we wanted to have happen. Milan scores. They make it 2-1. And things are not looking up for us right here. Oh, my God. Yeah, um, we have a lot to, uh, you know, come back from right here. Although we're still winning, that one away goal could prove to be very, very crucial. I mean, 
it just got a, we got we kind of got unlucky right there with the rebound our keeper uh just wasn't ready to save that one quite frankly lopez usually a solid keeper you can't really blame him right there can you 2-1 now the score 71st minute another chance right here we're cutting down the wing sending in a beautiful looking cross but a nice clearance from the AC Milan defender. In here, the closing stages of the game, we win a free kick, and somehow, from that angle, we're able to go on and get our third goal of the game. Okay, I was a little worried when we conceded that first goal, but Fekir comes back and gets his second of the game. This dude is an absolute beast, one of the best players on our team right now. He seems to just always be scoring. I know we've only played two games, but this man can't seem to stop this form he's in he's just playing so well at the moment look at this ball though played in to like the middle of the box right to the penalty spot right there and maybe the keeper should have done a little bit better right there but it was a decent header at that we're gonna get one more look what do you guys think bad play from the keeper or just a good finish i think the keeper probably could have saved that one but we know how broken goalkeepers are in fifa 19 this year that is gonna be it for the match though 3-1 is the final score we're in a very very good position going in to the away leg of this series against ac milan and there it is that celebration from Lyon. I'm sure we're going to be seeing a lot of that this year. Great, great result for us. Celebrating well as well in front of our home fans and getting that goal. I'm sure the fans are hyped to have me here at the club, boys. I know I'm excited for what this half season holds for us at Lyon. And if we like it, we might even stay for another year. But again, we're going to determine that at a later date. For now, it's a 3-1 win. Back to work here on the training grounds. And one of the reasons I'm just spending so much time here is because I want to play that cam role. I know I was promised to get time there at that position when I joined the club, but the manager wants to see that I'm fit to play that position because the guy in front of me is Fekir and he's scoring a lot of goals. It's going to be hard to take that position away from him. We're working hard to do it. After training, we headed in to the local news station. They wanted to have a few interviews with me about coming back to France, joining the new club, and I said, why not, man? I want to be one of those players who's known as like a good guy around here and yeah, man, I said, yeah, sure, why not? Let's do the interview. And I just went into like the local news station. But of course, after things were done, my whole, um, you know, interview got blown up and picked up by like Sky Sports News. As you can see, we're on the front page of Sky Sports News. JJ takes France by storm. And yeah, I think the whole country of France is hyped to have me back here. I know when I began my career, I was debating on whether or not to start in France or start in England. We went for England and um, I think it was a good decision, but I'm glad to be back here in the home, my home country of France. And yeah, without further ado, let's get in to leg number two here against AC Milan at AC Milan here in Italy. As I mentioned, we are starting in the cam position today. Fekir, though, still in. He's starting at striker, which I think might be best for the team. I think it's a really deadly trio to have Memphis Depay and Fekir up there at striker and then myself at the central attacking midfield position. Yeah, um, we could cause a lot, of a lot of trouble up there, get a lot of goals, get a lot of assists. I'm really looking forward to how we play. This is going to be a look, though, at the AC Milan lineup. They're going to be sending out today in this crucial Europa League matchup. AC Milan has a lot to make up right here. They need to get a lot of goals if they want to have a chance at getting back in to this series and advancing to the next round as we start out. I go for a long shot right here, but what a save from the um, Spanish keeper right there, Pepe Reina. Moving on, more chances would follow. This time for Milan, 45th minute, trying to get back into this thing. Great, great save, or I don't know if that was a save or if it hit off the post, but either way, good chance for AC Milan. Thought for sure that was going to be a goal, and it looks like, yeah, that one hits off the post right there. That would be it for the first half. And right now, things are, are going in our favor. Although we haven't scored, if we could just keep this result, I'd be perfectly happy with ending this game right here 1 0. Fekir, you know, not doing what he normally does. And, and by that, I mean putting the ball in the back of the net. But I'm sure later in this game, he's going to get his chances. 56th minute, great opportunity for us right here. I'm going to play a through ball in to who else right here? Is it Fekir or is it Memphis Depay? I can't even tell. I think that is going to be Memphis. It is, man. The Dutchman puts it in, making it 1-0. Now, um, what is that? 4-1? 
on aggregate is this game all but over i think it is what a goal from memphis he was unmarked there at the far post and it's an easy assist from jj williams that's what i love to see boys we're getting goals in this episode we're getting assists and we're getting wins most importantly that's all i want to do here at leone and we're doing it quite well 67th minute one final chance to perhaps make this lead even bigger than it already is and another great save though from Pepe Reina he's had a decent match honestly you can't really blame him for some of the mistakes this game um yeah great save though nonetheless right here as things are gonna slowly wind down and come to an end we're moving on to the round of 16 in this competition which I'm very very excited for I'm very very excited as well to see who we get matched up against in the next draw for this competition um yeah, a lot of great teams remain in this competition. Although it's not the Champions League, this is still international play. And I would love to win my first international trophy here in the Europa League. You got to start somewhere, right? You can't just go straight into the Champions League. We're going to work our way up. And hopefully next year, Champions League play will be there for us. But right now, I'm happy to be in the Europa League. Going back home, boys, of course, we still don't have a house here in France. So we're staying here with our teammate, Feck, here. He said that we can move in for a few weeks or, you know, however long we need to stay here. I'm sure we'll be getting a house soon. But yeah, man, I'm coming home from that past game. And I was just going to, you know, chill outside, relax, enjoy the fresh air. Until I received a phone call from my sponsor, Under Armour, who said they have a very important gift for us. Do we accept this gift? I know the easy answer is yes, but um, what do you guys think? What do you guys think this gift is? Let me know down below in the comments. Of course, a thousand likes, and the next episode will be up then, and you'll get to see what exactly this gift is. It's exciting stuff. We'll see you then, boys.